Hey guys, it's Sarah, and um, today I'm going to sneeze. I can never sneeze just once. Does any of you have that same problem? I've just sneezed at least like five million times. All right, anyway, sorry. For some reason, my allergies are going insane, or so the doctor says, so I apologize. I wanted to go ahead and do my wrap-up video. I read 14 books this month. Well, kind of. I read one collectively. I finished it this month. Uh, it was audiobook, but I'll get into that. I read 14 books this month, which is really good. I'm super ahead of my Goodreads challenge, which is crazy, and I'm excited. I can't believe I read that many books, but a lot of them I read, like four of them I've read just in the past four days, so that's kind of what helped my my number this month. But let's just start in on the books I read. The first book that I read this month was a Rock Chick book. Rock Chick. I forget the title. I always forget the title. Of them. Rock Chick Re Reckoning. Yep, Reckoning. And this was one that I disliked when I read it the first time. And most of it was in the first half of the book and it was to do with the main female character. But I gave it a second read with my mind open and I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was really good and I don't know, I guess I was just wasn't in the mood for it when I first read it or what, but it was so good and, you know, I'm... Kristen Ashley is my soul sister, so okay. I read a ton of romance this month, which is kind of good. I've been taking a break on romance, so I'm glad I went back into the swing of things. The next book that I read was a sequel to a romance book, and it's adult romance, and it's Mine by Katie Evans. The, this is the sequel to Real by Katie Evans, and when I read Real, I read it as an ebook. Uh, I think I read it when it was self-published, if I'm not mistaken. And I really enjoyed it. It's about this girl. She goes to this fight with her best friend, this MMA, underground MMA fight. And she kind of meets this fighter and they have instant chemistry and they hit it off, kind of. And then she goes to work for him and it's like this whirlwind war romance. I, when I first read it, I didn't know there was going to be a sequel because it kind of ended okay where... Uh, it wasn't cliffhanger, it wasn't like, what's gonna happen next? It was kind of just a great ending, but the sequel was so good. I loved it so much. A lot of the first book was like suspense, you know, you're like waiting for the relationship to happen. But the sequel, they had a relationship and it was just amazing and I really recommend this series if you like adult romance because it is pretty intense. I ended up giving it a 4.5 stars. There is going to be two more books in the series and then there is a um, third one right now that's out and it's told in the main character Remy is his name um, it's called Remy that's the name of the book and it's told in his point of view and also it like goes back and forth between present and past so I kind of read it but I didn't really read it I don't know the next book that I read was a novella but I feel like it could be book by itself because it was just that good and that was Destroying Me by Tara Murphy. oh my god I just loved this novella this was like I don't even I've never felt this much for a character before in my entire life. I know for sure. Warner has, I don't know, officially, almost semi-officially brought me to his team. I've not yet read Unravel Me, so um, I need to read, I need to read that series and I plan on doing that as soon as possible, but I just love this novella. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. It's about Warner. It's just amazing and I understand. I understand now. I understand. <laughs> The next book that I finished was, the one I was talking about was an audiobook. I've been reading this audiobook since October, I think, which is kind of long, but I took a big break between the holidays, like from December to, uh, like the end of January. I didn't really listen to it at all, so I took a big break, but I wanted to finish it, and then I ended up buying it in physical copy at Barnes & Noble, and it's so good. I highly recommend it, and that's The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This book is so, so good, and just from my personal experience, listening to it was amazing. Neil Gaiman narrates it himself, and it was just so captivating and creepy and just perfect for October and perfect for the fall and winter. It was just so, so good, and the world building was great, the character development was great, and it's just amazing. Amazing. It's just a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was another adult romance book and this is by Elizabeth Reyes. I want to say she wrote the Fifth Street series and that's like the boxing series. 
Um, and I've read a couple of books from that series. She also has the Moreno Brothers series and like the Forever or something, Moreno, I don't know, something Forever series. This is part of her new series. I can't recall what it is, but it's called Breaking Brandon and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of, four out of five stars on Goodreads and it was just a nice romance book that I needed at the time and I really enjoyed it. It's not for the light heart though, so just be warned. <laughs> the next book that I read was one that I was so excited to read and one that I just gobbled up and that was The Will of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Now, I did read this in like less than a week and it's 800 pages, but I do have an explanation. I'm not that quick of a reader. <laughs> um, that's pretty much impossible, I think. Well, semi-impossible. It's almost 800 pages. I bought the audiobook. I had bought Mistborn, um, the first book, The Final Empire, sorry, on audiobook way, way back in October or so, November-ish, and I listened to the very beginning of it and then I just, when I got these, this box set I just read it so I didn't listen to it but for this one I listened to it anytime I was doing something where I couldn't read if I was in the car if I was cleaning the house packing the house anything that anytime where I couldn't pick up this book I was listening to it and I'd always just find my spot and that's how I read it so quickly and I was just so engrossed in this world and this like fantasy I couldn't put it down and I have an audible membership so I get the credits and I just am planning on doing that with Hero of Ages as well. I love the guy who narrates it. His name is Michael Kramer. He's awesome. I love it so much. And he paints just such a perfect picture. His voice is great. And I just love this book. And I love the audiobooks. And I plan on reading Hero of Ages very soon. This book was just... This book was freaking... Character growth, character growth, character growth is all I can say about this book. It was amazing. Five out of five stars. World building. I didn't think the world could get any richer until I picked it up. I was like, no, Final Empire has it all. Nope. It doesn't. It gets better. If that's possible, it does get better. The next book that I read was another novella, and that was Consequences by Shelley Crane. This is a significance novella, and it came out on the 14th of February, on Valentine's Day. And it's just kind of kind of a lead-in into where the next book is coming. She's doing a spin-off-ish kind of book coming up in the fall, and so this is just her way to lead us in, like kind of closing the chapter on Maggie and Caleb for good and leading into what's gonna happen next, and I thought it was awesome. I have read the short teaser that came out with Wide, uh, wide Open, Wide Spaces. It was in the back of Wide Spaces, so I did end up reading that, so I knew a lot what was going on in this book because it just kind of explains what led up to that moment, what like what led up to that um, little teaser, little beginning chapters of that book, so I kind of knew what was going on and that was just better, I think, and it was really good and I highly recommend that series. I gave it a 4. A four out of five stars. It was really good. I think the only problem I had with it was that it was too short and it I guess I was looking for it to be more about Maggie and Caleb and it was more about building for the next book which isn't bad but just wasn't what I was expecting so that's the only reason why I didn't give it five out of five. The next book that I read is another new adult, well it's another romance, it's a new adult and that is Be With Me by, by Jennifer L. Armentrout and this is the uh, companion sequel to the to Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armitrout. And I liked this more than I liked Wait For You, though you won't be able to tell it by my stars. When I read Wait For You, I gave it like a 5 out of 5 or something, but that's because I love Jennifer, and that was before I actually tried to think about how I would rate a book. It was just like, oh, all my feelings, I'm gonna give it to this rating. And now I kind of take a step back and analyze the whole thing, because I don't want to give a bad rating to you guys when, you know, if you want to pick up a book that I've read and I give it a 4 out of 5 when really I mean a 2 out of 5 or something, then you know what I'm saying? I never really thought about my ratings before, I was just all about based on my feelings. And with this book, I liked it more than Wait For You, but I did give it a lower star rating. I have a review, I, this is the book that I did a review for, but I did not upload it, which I think I'm still going to. It was filmed a, long, a while ago, but it's edited and I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna upload it, so it'll be at my old house. So I'm sorry for, you won't be able to see the bookshelves behind me, but Basically, I liked this story. It read more like a new adult than Wait For You. I gave it a 3.5 stars on Goodreads and I enjoyed it well enough. It was a fun read. I would never take it too seriously, but I did like it, so yeah. The next book that I read, I actually read as a, with a bunch of YouTubers. I read it with 
Sharon over at Magnificent Books, Julian from Bookish and Nerdy, I think Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey was in on it, but I'm not sure if she <laughs> read it or not because that was during the um, Throne of Glass read along as well, and Ka Kayla from Book Doodles was in on it, and me. I think that was the only people. Uh, yeah. So anyways, we read this book together and we really enjoyed it. We all gobbled it up in like two to four days based on how busy we were, but we just loved it. And that was Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I wanted to read this book for a long time and I'm so glad I got to read it with those awesome people. They're so, they're just so funny. I love them to death. I'll link all their channels down below as well. We read it and we enjoyed it. I gave this book a 4.5 stars just because the middle part was a little, it's not really confusing but it was a little slow and it threw me for a loop. It was not what I was expecting and I uh, wasn't what I was expecting in not a good way. It kind of was like, what are you doing? What's going on? Uh, but it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't bad, but it just really threw me off and threw the way I was looking at the story. So that's the only reason why I didn't get a 5 out of 5 stars. Otherwise, I loved it. Character development was amazing. There was great world building. Uh, this world was just awesome. And I just really enjoyed the story. I cannot wait to get my hands on the second one. I've been looking everywhere for it. I can't buy the hard copy on Amazon. I can't do it. I have to get it on Barnes & Noble or Book Depository. And it's crazy expensive. But, but I really enjoyed this and I recommend it if you like fantasy. It is fantasy but it's not epic fantasy. It's just uh, got fantasy elements and it was really good. I really liked it. Okay, that was awkward. Let's go into the next one. So the next, the last couple of ones are all on my Kindle. I read Motorcycle Man by Chris and Ashley while I was moving because I was so tired I just wanted to read something. I enjoyed it a lot and I gave it 4.5 stars. Uh, I think, no I gave it 5 stars, what are we talking about? And then I picked up, okay, now let me just, okay, before we go into this next segment, let's just say I have a little bit of a problem with marathoning authors books. So if I find an author that I like, I'm going to read almost every book that they put out because that's just who I am and how I do things. I do that for bands and for movies and anything. I found this author, her name is R.K. Lily. Lily. I, I said Kelly, but it's Kelly with an L, like Lily. I'm pretty sure it's, it's L-I-L-L-E-Y. And she writes adult romance novels, like erotic, you know, one of those you know, adult romance novels and trashy novels, I guess you'd say. I found her, I found this book, and it's called Bad Things, and I freaking loved it. It was dramatic, it was just what I needed to, like, take my mind off of everything and just read. It's just, it was, it's the silliest, most dramatic book I've ever read in my entire life. And then I read the sequel, which is called Rock Bottom, and that was the same way, but I didn't enjoy that one as much. It was just full of just drama just high drama and I really enjoyed those two books. I gave Bad Things a 4 out of 5 and Rock Bottom a 3.5. Just I didn't like Rock Bottom as much. They're just really good. They're just good romance novels. Just perfect for taking my mind off. I read them both in two days. Then I picked up her other series that she has called the Up in the Air series and oh my god. I'm almost finished with the last one which is the third and final book. But I haven't finished it yet, but I'll probably finish it by the end of the month. So the first one is called In the Air. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I cannot remember these titles. It's called In the Air, and it's about this girl who lives in Las Vegas, and she is a flight attendant, and she meets this guy, and there's heavy BDSM in there, so if you're not into that Fifty Shades Grey feel, I wouldn't recommend it, pick, wouldn't recommend it for you, but it was so good. <sighs> okay, so I gave the first book in that series a 4 out of 5 stars, uh, just highly dramatic and just really good. I just like it. I don't know. I gave the next one, which was called Mile High, also 4 out of 5 stars, and the last one, which is called Grounded, I will probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars so far. I'm over halfway done with it and I'm really enjoying it, so I'll probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Just really like them. I don't, there's not really a reason why, just they're good romance novels. Uh, they don't have any of the pet peeves that I hate in romance novels and I really like them. That is my wrap up. <sighs> that was kind of a long wrap up. I feel like I've been talking for five million years. Let me know what you guys have read this month. I'm 
I really want to know. Just let me know if you liked it or if you did a wrap-up video, link it down below and I'll go watch it. Let's talk about these books, yo. We talk, we read a lot of books in one month. We can talk about them. That is it for my wrap-up. Let me know what you guys read this month or if you've read any of my books or if you... I just need to get... Let me know if you have read any of the books that I read this month and if you enjoyed them or if you plan on picking them up because I would love to know if you are going to pick them up because that's awesome. Also, I probably will not be doing a TBR for March because I just have so many books that I want to read and I have this urge to just read, just pick up and read books instead of planning them out. So I'm just going to try and pick up any book that I want to read this next month and hopefully I enjoy it. Also, it's my birthday next month on the 4th, so there will probably be a semi-large book haul for that. We'll see. That is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great, great rest of your day. I hope you have a great rest of February and a great March. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!